whenever there are shifter of complaints, uh, not being able to get certain gears, uh, you want to look at the shifter linkage and check for excess of free play. You can see this main shifter rod or shifter link. Well, it's a rod. Uh, this is way too much excessive play here, and that play here translates into delayed movement across all the other shifter linkage. So if you got to start uh, with the stuff that has excessive play. And the bushing looks like this, and it's riveted into place right here, um, and held in place by this metal cover here. So we're going to take this bracket off, drill out the rivets, put this guy in, and then bolt it back together. Fairly simple. Disconnect two bolts here. Uh, there's one more over here. Take apart the shifter linkage, and it comes apart nicely. Take note of all the clamps and positioning of items, otherwise follow the instructions in the service manual. To help rough alignment, make some marks. Out, there's a locating ridge. In a while I thought I could remove it without having to disconnect this guy. Just removing a mounting nut. You'll see in a second what I'm removing.
the nut off, you just lift the uh, lever off of the relay lever. Come on. Engine's nice and hot right now. Come on. Wiggle and pull, wiggle and pull, come on. There we go. I'm just trying to take this arm off that mounts to the uh, relay rod. Okay, and then one more bolt from up here. That's one of the bushings. And that bracket has one more bolt. Trying to find it right now. Take this guy out. Usually this ball deteriorates and that causes a lot of free play. Okay, and so you can see the bracket right there. That's the last bolt. in a second once I have it all removed. And that's the whole point about my videos. You don't need to see everything. You just need to make sense of what's going on. And you can usually do that by just following along and seeing what I remove. Okay, so this is the actual shifter rod from the shifter inside the car. This is what mounts up to it and what causes the shifter link, shifter movement to go perpendicular. This was in here. So it sits like this. These are the bushings that were in here. One and two. So we're going to replace these two bushings while we're in here. And uh, this is the main focus. So clean this guy up first. That's what's left of the bushing. 
should look something like this. Double check. Mm -hmm. You just double check that the uh, bushing has a nice snug fit. Got interrupted, sorry. <clears throat> you can also use bolts to hold it in place, you don't need to use rivets. Whatever is easier. I can get it back on still. Line up the bracket. Use some anti-seize on the bolts for future ease of removal. Always start bolts by hand and make sure that they, they start threading nicely. Otherwise if you force it, you'll cross thread and you'll have bigger problems. Here, start this bolt up here. Tighten this bolt and then do the others from underneath. Doesn't have to be super tight. I think 15, 18 foot pounds should be enough, which is like 20 newton meter. Same thing with these. Same, same thing with these bolts. They don't have to be super tight.
takes longer when you can't move the wrench very much. just a piece of felt or whatever material foam it helps add a little bit of a rigidity or stiffness to the link when the link is pushed on I'm waiting for bushings here but in the meantime I can sort of line this up Don't forget NDCs. Yeah, that's pretty much it then. You just align it to where it was roughly uh, and then follow the instructions in the service man manual on how to adjust it properly. Uh, ideally there are a couple of tools that are required for to make adjustment easier and quicker. Uh, it can be done without those special tools. If it was me, I would replace this guy as well at this time, uh, just for, for sake of saving, to, of having to go back in there in a year or so when this guy deteriorates, but this guy can be replaced at any later time, so it doesn't really matter. Um, it just all depends on customers or yourself, your per personal preferences.